Okay everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a quarter into a copper quarter and showing you a really cool effect called double boiling. Okay, so in order to do this, you just need some methyl alcohol. And then you just need to heat up your quarter a lot. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. You don't actually need to get it that hot. You don't need to get it red hot or anything. You need to heat it until it becomes blackened on top. And you'll see it go through a few different steps here. So first we'll heat it, watch the color change as it builds up oxide layers. See it go to a kind of bluish color and now right here is where it turns black. So at this point, this is where you need to dunk it in the methyl alcohol. Okay, look how black it is, then dip it in and it magically becomes copper. And then look at this double boiling. Whoa! <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look how perfectly colored copper that is now. <laughs> That's awesome. So where does that double boiling effect come from? Well, that actually comes from the Leyden frost effect. The Leyden frost effect is when something is so hot that it instantly vaporizes the liquid or anything that it's touching, and so it creates a pocket of gas around it. And that pocket of gas actually insulates the hot thing and so it doesn't cool down as much. And so what we see is initially when we put the quarter in, it's vaporizing the alcohol so fast that it creates a pocket of gas around it and that pocket of gas insulates it. Now watch how shiny it is. So the quarter is bubbling because it's still vaporizing the alcohol, but just not very quickly. But then as soon as it cools down enough that it can't create that pocket of gas around it, and then the alcohol actually touches the quarter and then it can vaporize really quickly and then you see it boil very fast on it. So you kind of see two boilings happening. The first is due to the Leyden frost effect and then the next is due to the actual boiling of the alcohol once the quarter cools. So that shininess on the quarter was actually a thin layer of gas. <laughs> Whoa. So how is this able to actually work? Well, if you look at the edge of a quarter, you'll notice that most of it is actually copper. Look at the layers in the middle there. So it's mostly copper, it has a copper core, and on the outside has this nickel, it's actually a nickel copper alloy, but mostly nickel. And it's a really thin layer. So what happens is when you heat up this quarter, the copper actually migrates from the center through the top alloy, and so it comes out the top of it. So once the copper migrates to the top of the coin, now it just reacts with the oxygen in the air and it turns black. So after you heated it, if you just left it, you just have a black coin because now there's just copper oxides on the top. But what happens when it, you stick it in the methanol is the copper oxides that are on the surface can actually just be turned back into copper by reacting with the methanol. And so it's actually a surface reaction of the methanol with the copper oxides that you get the actual pure surface of the copper on the surface of the coin. If you just did it in water, you wouldn't end up with the same result. Okay, look how cool this is. Look at all these copper coins now. So depending on how long you let it heat up and how long you let it cool before you dunk it in, you can get different colors. They all end up sort of this copper color, but you can get some really dark copperish ones and some lighter, uh, almost silvery looking ones. So this copper migrated up from the center of the coin and came out the front here. And now it's just flaking off. Now the ability to make these coins turn into copper coins comes from the ability of copper to migrate through different metals. Now this can actually create a problem in different industries. If you get a little piece of copper on a piece of metal that you don't want it there and then you heat it up, that copper can actually just migrate through the whole piece of metal and create this unwanted alloy. So you have to be pretty careful with copper because it has the ability to migrate like this. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you want, hit that bell button so that you can be notified right when my video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.